thought process? No, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, sure, it's a concern. And um, you know, if you're familiar with the collective bargaining agreement, you know, there have been some significant changes you know, made you know, for teams that, exert, that, that exceed certain thresholds. Um, but, but once again, you know, over the last year, you know, there's been some criticism. And when we traded Lamar, that it was just a way to, you know, save money. I think this proves that, you know, when it comes down to it, and I've always said it, um, you know, certainly nobody, you know, who who does it, who owns a, a family-owned business, doesn't want to make a profit so their, you know, their their business can survive and prosper. But when it comes down to it, Dr. Bus is a competitive a very competitive owner and his family is also very competitive and when it comes down to making a decision about a couple of dollars or a million dollars or ten million dollars or putting another banner up you know he, he can't help himself he chooses to go for the banner which based on your conversations with Dwight and Dan Fagan how much of a risk do you think you are at that this could possibly only be a one-year you know deal? something we've had we've had no discussions uh, the press conference started at four o'clock uh, they came into my office about a quarter to four and, um, you know, I had a little private chat with Dwight that maybe lasted four or five minutes, and um, that was it. So no point, even during the, the trade negotiations, there was, there nope. was nothing to gauge his interest in staying No, um, in, in fact, you know, our, our decision was really independent of anything you may have read, you know, about what maybe his desires were or weren't. You know, our feeling was is. No matter what anybody says, let's just get him to Los Angeles and we'll take our chances. So the thought process with that sort of winning sort of takes care of things? Like the, Excuse me? It's a thought process a little bit, you know, winning. It's a, lo it's a little bit of everything I talked about. You know, it's the, it's the organization, ownership, the city of Los Angeles, uh, you know, our ability to win games, you know, surrounding Dwight with players that will make it easier for him, you know, to, uh, to play the game not have to burden, you know, a load that's maybe not fair. Mitch, what concerns did you guys have as an organization with, with this back? Uh, well, well, it's a concern, of course. I mean, somebody had back surgery, but I had two back surgeries. And I had it when they were using rocks <laughs> and re rebar how to open up the back. So today, you know, 35, 40 years later, you know, they're, they're so sophisticated. Um, you know, players come back in six, seven months, and you know we feel very assured that he's going to be back. Uh, we're hopeful he's back for camp. We're hopeful he's back to start the season, but we know he's going to be back and playing at a high level at some point in time. How much do we have available to you to find out where he is or how, you know, how much damage there might have been or how well the surgery went? Uh, just today, this morning, we have, we have, we're given permission to talk to his physician here, um, and then you know we. He expects a full recovery. Is that, that, I assume that's before you guys find what they've worked. Um, that was before. Yes. But but all players are subject to physicals anyway. Sure. So it didn't matter if it was before or after. 